Okay, Portugal. Uh, the second time's a charm, okay? Before we get started, Portugal, I don't give a big shout out to the people who watched this video yesterday, uh, in the last couple of days, I should say. Also, Portugal, wanted, this is also your personal invitation to join me at 8 p.m. this evening, East, U.S. Eastern Time, on, for Dave's Data Analytics channel on Twitch, where it's all about our programming and data analytics. So again, that there, there's a link to that Twitch channel in the, in the description below. So I'm looking forward to seeing you folks in my chat session this evening, 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time on Twitch, okay? So let's, kind of, let's, kind of, let's just run Portugal's report here. Hmm, it's raining out. Is it supposed to be raining? Mm, yeah, it does. Hmm. Well, you know, we we've been we've been getting it high. We've been getting a lot of our spring and, and summer uh, rain rainy weather in the fall now. Okay, this is kind of curious. Obviously, the, obviously the global that that day going rascal uh, uh, global warming's doing it again. Okay, so let's come over here. Take a look over here. So here, here you can see Portugal's cases. You know, you can see that they basically had one big spike, which peaked on January 28th at 16,432 cases for a single. Then you can see their their cases just kind of like fell off the bottom of the table down here. Okay. You know, numbers like you know, uh, you know, 220, uh, maybe up as high as 400. You know, maybe. 193 cases for a single day. So you can see that uh, Portugal has had a really nice run going all the way down to the spring and summer. Then we had, then the, and, and several countries, including uh, Portugal, had this little hiccup right here. Now the question is, do we know actually what caused this hiccup? And could this be it for the rest of the year? Okay. Could this be the high point from now to, to the first of the year? Okay. It remains to be seen. So anyway, because this number spiked on July the 22nd, 21st of 4,376 again, before falling back down to about, oh, around five to 600 range. What about deaths? Well, again, you have a single big death spike here, right? On January 31st, uh, Portugal had 303 and three deaths. Then it's long, crazy, long declining pattern down into here. I mean, this this crazy low numbers. What about cases? Again, Look at this crazy low numbers down into spring and summer. Then a bit of a hiccup here, up just, just slightly below 25,000 for the week. Then we begin to falling back down again to around six, uh, six, five to six, five to seven thousand down into here. Okay. What about deaths? Well, look at look how crazy low deaths are. This is 92 deaths. Okay. The July August spike had a high of 85 deaths. 96 deaths. Okay, crazy, crazy low deaths for uh, for Portugal's numbers. Look at this. Look at these crazy low numbers here during the spring and summer. Then we had a, a, a two-month increase followed by a one to three-month decrease in COVID in COVID-19 cases. What about deaths? Well, look how crazy low these monthly deaths are. Okay. Uh, so anyway, but anyway, Portugal. That concludes your report for today. Well, thank you much for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you this evening at 8 p.m. on Twitch. Link in the description below.